Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your favorite homegirl. Today, you guys, we got some ratchet ass news. 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 Um, if you guys like ratchet ass news, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments and we're gonna keep them going. Today, you guys, we got 600 pounds. 600 pound man. I don't care how much you weigh, but this shit is funny. 600 pound cocaine dealer is too big to fit in a courtroom, y'all. It's sentenced from the back of the damn ambulance. Let that shit add up. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It says 600 pound cocaine dealer is a obese. Mark Shift uh, courtroom had been set up for his ambulance for him to plead guilty. Um, Kirk Lennon Smith admitted to cocaine trafficking and being a felon possession of a gun during the Mark Shift hearing. Smith was sentenced to two years in jail. His sentence was agreed on part of the plea deal struck between him and the prosecutor. He probably a snitch too. What the hell? And what are you going to do with a gun? Nigga, you can't run with the gun. You really literally just going to shoot and somebody can get away from you. Dog, we going to get straight to this, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel down in the comments. I mean, damn. I mean, damn. You can't even fit in the courtroom, dog. You got to get sense from the ambulance. We had information that he was um, a pretty large man, but we didn't, we didn't realize how big he was until we got in the house. Um, when we, we were able to, uh, I guess, when I say large, I'm upwards of five to 600 pounds. Damn. If you can't get the defendant to court, the court will go to the defendant. <laughs> if you can't go to the court, the court gonna go to the defendant. <laughs> they said by any means. Defendant. Ah! That's what happened today when a 600 pound convicted drug dealer was sentenced. Local 12's Angela Ingram shows us how police say Kirk Smith was a menace in his neighborhood. Kirk, you a fool. An ambulance pulled up to the loading area of the Hamilton County Courthouse. Inside, 42-year-old Kirk Smith. Court had to come outside to him, and that's where Smith was sentenced for trafficking in cocaine, weapons under disability, Bruh. and other drug charges. Uh, we received a Crime Stoppers tip. Damn. And some hey, so big, <laughs> big dog was making moves out here in the ignorant way, obviously, but damn. From the community that... An individual up on Rosewood and Hartwell, um, the activity was consistent with drug trafficking. Cincinnati police got information that Smith was running a drug ring. This is an older mugshot of him from 2009. When officers raided the house, drug they found surveillance cameras, drugs, and guns. They read him. Hey, my guy couldn't even run from him. It, he got cameras for nothing because he couldn't flush it down a toilet. What the fuck? His rights, but they could not physically arrest him. It was pretty obvious that he was, uh, there were people running for him um, because he's so large. Like, as I mentioned, six, 700 pounds, he wasn't able to move around freely. So it made it kind of tough on us to maneuver him and What's wrong him with him? House that particular day. In fact, it was impossible. The ambulance took Smith from the courthouse directly to prison. He was sentenced to two years behind bars. Police are hoping the conviction gives neighbors back their peace of Damn. mind. It was pretty evident and obvious to the people that live up there that they they want what we all want. He ain't going to drug dealer up in there. They don't there. want the, the Let's activity. Be honest. They don't want the, 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 the violence that's associated with the drug sales. Um, they just want a, a, a quiet neighborhood just like we all do. While Smith did plead guilty to the charges, his family says he is still a father, he is a family man, and their priority <laughs> is his children. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, Angela Ingram, Local 12 oh, News. Hell nah. And no word yeah, on what Ohio Kirk, prison tripping. could handle a man of that size. I see you copying your family by any means, bro, but moral of the story is, it don't matter how skinny, how big you are, you gonna get to the bag. <laughs> He couldn't even fit in the ambulance, y'all. Make it make sense, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this one, y'all. I mean, I mean, like, why? Why, why, why? Um, if y'all like Ratchet News, let me know down in the comments, y'all. We're going to get to the next one. Let's go.